Hi babies and welcome to my channel. My name is Cormy. I'm you, I. I don't know if sometimes when I say Cormy, I add a few extra letters that are not part of my name, but hey, that's me. Hi, how you doing? So, today I was thinking to do something exciting. I know I keep saying on every single video, but it's really the truth. I love um, doing makeup and I love testing new products and um, I'm excited about it. There is nothing wrong with it. So, as you guys probably seen from the title, today we'll be testing a few of the Revolution new brushes. Now, let me tell you, and this one is me and my mind and my brain. Now, think about um, this brush collection as an egg. Now, this egg has been cracked. Now, it's been cracked down to a fry pan and it's cooking and you're having this gorgeous omelette and you just wanna eat it. Now, that is exactly what I think about Revolution when they just drop makeup because they just drop all these eggs and you have all these omelettes in front of you and you just wanna eat it. I'm really hungry right now, as you can tell. So, um, I have all the brushes in front of me. Now, as you guys know, I do, um, I am really lucky because I do get PR sent from Revolution, where I can actually test their makeup and everything. But, and this is very important for me to say, um, I do not get paid or sponsored to ever mention any brand on my channel, um, as well as Revolution. So anything you guys are always getting from me, it is truly the honesty. It's part of the BB family, so I just want you to know that, that we are just gonna keep it real because there is no other way for me to just live my life that go to bed and sleep comfortable at night. So I have in front of me all these brushes. As I said, we're gonna definitely try a few of them. If there are some of them that I will not test out today, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below and I will add it on in a coming video. But we are gonna start with this uh, little set and move our way to like the biggest one. So the first one is this one over here. Now it's called the Rose Gold Retractable Kabuki brush. When I saw this one, the first things I thought about it was my mom. Uh, my mom used to have one of those that is literally like a kabuki brush that she used to use it for like a bronzer. She used to literally take this bronzer and just go everywhere on her face. I'm not getting my makeup skill from my mom, just to let you know. <laughs> um, and I know that she always had like a retractable so you can close it. I love these thorough brushes over here because they're great for travel and because the bristle get protected, you're not gonna like ruin them or um, it's just always gonna hold on beautifully. So this is something that I'm really happy is out. Then we have again something else that is very good for like traveling and is this Reloaded Rose Gold Travel Brush Set. As you can see, this one are little, they are minis. Um, they're very cute. I feel like there is definitely like a little bit of everything, but I wouldn't say this brush set over here will kind of give you like everything you need. There is a, um, this one over here that you can use for like multi-purpose, like bronzing as well, like powdering, maybe blush, even highlighting. Then there is this little one for concealer and this one that you probably can use for eyes. So I guess if you're doing like a super, super natural makeup lock on the go, like you wanna put your foundation on, and then all you're gonna do is like mascara and lipstick, like no shadow, nothing, this one can kind of be like a good set for you. Um, if you wanna start to do any sort of like eyeshadow and everything, um, I don't think you can uh, um, really get a lot done with this one just to let you know. But it's nice because it's lovely to just like add a few brushes at a time. And I love the fact that it's like, it's travel friendly, so yes. <laughs> Next we have this one over here. There is Define and Blend Set with Color Switch Sponge. So this one is what it looks like. Now let me tell you, I'm super in love and intrigued by the look of this brush over here. There is, let me see if I can show you, yeah. This one over here is like a bullet fluffy brush where I can see and it's completely screaming my name. Then there is a flat eyeshadow brush and then a color switch that, to be honest with you, I never had one. Um, I always tend to clean up my brushes on the go. Um, I have a few ways to clean my brushes, so if you guys want, I can just go into depth with that one another time because I feel like this video is gonna be longer the way it is. Um, but yeah, this one looks very, very interesting. Um, I'm really into trying the color switch. Next, we have something that I'm 
I couldn't wait for this. Like, this is a moment for me. I remember last year I was um, at the conference with Revolution and I was talking with um, one of the um, big uh, development, like the product development and everything. And I was with Tammy and we were talking about fan brushes. Yes. We know Holly have one, we have three. <laughs> yes. Uh, this one is the highlight and finish set. So it comes with three different um, fan brushes. So there is a very small one for the face, another medium one for the face as well. Um, like you can use this for contouring everything. And then there is a very big one for your body. Love the fact there is like, you can definitely get a uh, different use out of all these fan brushes like that. Next we do have the Sculpt and Glow brush set with blending sponge that looks like this. So we have um, another fan brush. Yes. <laughs> we also have um, kind of like a stippling uh, foundation brush, one that's probably meant for like bronzing and contouring and a sponge as well. Also I think I've not mentioned it because my brain is not yet to be connected. Um, all these brushes over here are vegan and cruelty free. I'm super happy to hear that. I am really, really happy. Next, we have the Conceal and Define brush set. Now, this one over here is probably a setter on its own. It's very, very good, especially if you're looking for something like quick and easy for your foundation without thinking about it. There is a powder, there is um, this one for concealer, this one as well, you can use it for like spot conceal, like even like carve out your brows and everything. And then there is like the big uh, kind of like flat kabuki brush that you guys know is normally the one that I tend to use when I do my uh, foundation. Then we have the last three and this one over here are my things. <laughs> I saved them for last. Now this one is the Reloaded Rose Gold Brush Set. Is this one not the most beautiful? Like this brush set is screaming luxury, is screaming beauty. I love dark bristle on brushes. Not only because you can't tell when they're dirty, but also because they do look more expensive. And the rose gold it is stunning. There is a little bit of everything. Now the only one that I'm really concerned, not concerned, like the only one that I really wanted to like find out how to use it because I, right now, I really have no clue, is this one over here, like the spongy one, triangle. I don't know if I need to like wet it before using it, if I use it dry, what's best. So I'm gonna save um, using this brush set for another time because I really wanna find out some insight on how to correctly use it instead of just like not use it properly and then do a bed review because that's really no point on that. Next, we have the Essential Brush Set. Now, this one over here, I um, absolutely love as well. Loving the handle, the dark handle, yes. And we have a little bit of everything. There is like um, angle brush, um, blush brush, foundation brush, eyeshadow brush. This one as well, you can use it for foundation. And then this one over here for the eyes. So this, again, is another beautiful one. But now, it's time for my ultimate favorite. Like when I saw this one was on the top of the box, I was like, there is no going back. This is literally all you need. And uh, this is what it looks like. Like, hello brushes. This is called the Ultra Value 10 piece uh, set. Now you have so much. And I'm definitely gonna use this one today because I wanna see um, if that's held up to my expectation. And I guess now, I love brushes and I'm really picky with what brushes I use. Uh, we have four for the face and then six for the eyes. So yes, I think we're gonna dig in with this one over here and see if in case I wanted to add something from another set, but I really wanna kind of like just focus on one so that if you guys are not sure what to get, at least you can get like a full look using one set only instead of like doing one brush here, one brush there, one brush there. I don't know if that makes sense for you, but when I see a review, I like to see the product being used completely instead of like digging in 30 and then I feel like I might be able to do that at home by myself. I hope you're good. So yes, give me one second. I'm gonna type my hair because they are a mess and um, we're gonna start this uh, review. All right, babes, so I got the eye brushes out and so far I'm loving the way it's actually been like lacquered and everything. Like it's like nice and shiny and they do feel quite nice. Like they do feel like, especially this one over here is nice and fluffy. Now for the eye look I'm gonna do, uh, if you guys remember, I've asked you on my previous video to help me out, to figure out my life because I know you guys, um, 
I've been sorted out a little bit better than me, so we're gonna recreate this look over here now um, I did use more and different brushes for do that, but I want to see if you can actually recreate it using those so Let's start and I'll be straight away using this one over here now This one is a flat and it's a little bit more stiff So I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect to do our base and as you guys know I use my Mac soft ochre. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this one very very quickly onto my eyes all the way up to the brows Alright baby, so, so the base is down and I'm not setting it with anything only because we want to make sure like the brightness of the shadow is really dead so let's move on with some eyes shadows now when it comes to uh, the fluffy brush there are two of them in the set one is a little bit bigger and more fluffier and the other one is a little bit smaller and a tiny bit more dense under the touch also the bristles are slightly more shorter so we're gonna use the smaller one one. And for eyes, I kind of did a mix between uh, my palette and some MAC shadows But you don't have to go and buy a MAC product to create this look as well as you don't need to have my palette to create it Just kind of like go with the vibe of the colors. So the first one is this single eye shadow over here There is called fig one. So I'm taking it onto this brush and we can see there is already pigment coming through and what I'll do is because our base is tacky I'm gonna start to first press it on my eyes now I've seen a lot of people doing this kind of technique especially since um, like the P. Louise base has been um, kind of like out now I will say um, that's not to like toot on my own and everything because you guys know I really don't care about that but I used to use soft ochre back in the days when I used to work at Mac and I never really set my base. I always went in straight away with an eyeshadows, but I kind of went in with more of like a soft brown and then build up with color when I seen a lot of people now to just go in with actual straight color. So what I'm doing, I'm first pressing it in and then very lightly with the tip of the brush. So without actually adding much pressure, I'm just very lightly softening by doing like very quick and subtle um, round motion. Also guys, look like this do uh, take more time than usual, especially because we're going to play a lot with like different colors, they're all kind of bright, so blending is key. Now, um, after like editing and everything, it's really going to shrink down at the time, but I want to let you know how long I will actually take personally. So it's now 3.14 of my phone. At the end of the eye look, I will let you know what time it is to, to kind of really show how long it takes to do more but like a dramatic eye or at least how long it takes personally me so that you can kind of like don't feel oh Carmi has done it like in three minutes so Carmi has not done it in three minutes let me tell you that so let me just carry on pressing it and then blending it Next I'm going to take the bigger fluffy brush and this shade over here. Now this one in particular is actually a blush from MAC and it's called Devil. Um, I really like how pigmented it is, but also because it's in a blush formula, it's even easier to blend it. Because on time, a color like this, especially where I'm going to place it right now, can be a little bit tricky. The pigment is there, but it does blend beautifully. So I'll show you. What I'll do is I just go in between the purple and the kind of like high crease where I did not place any of my product so kind of like there and very very lightly I'm just gonna like start to blend it as you guys see my brush barely touches um, the actual like um, eye space is not like really intensely like go down because sometimes it happened that, like the brush will spread open and then you can't control the product also because our base underneath is still like a little bit wet um, doing motion like this it really really helps to blend and soften it up and as you guys see it does already soften a tan so let's just do this one real quick to show you some time how time consuming some of this look can really be as you guys have seen it after we place this color the purple is even more softer so you have to go back in with a previous brush add in the first color and kind of like re-intensify 
If not, um, it's just gonna start to look a little bit muddy. So the first few steps, especially when you do your transition and everything, is a lot of like back and forward with the same brushes and you just add this product back with the other one and you blend again. So again, guys, stuff like this does take a little bit longer, but the result does look so cool that then you just like, um, I done that. I'm gonna keep exactly the same small fluffy brush, the one that we used at the beginning for the purple, and go in with a dark purple. Now, this one over here is called Dip Damson from MAC. I believe is a pro uh, only color. I don't know if you can actually um, get it like onto the small black one, but you know, like the packaging one, but I personally think uh, refill one are so much easier. Also, they're like magnetic, so definitely go with this one also. I think they're like half of the price. Just saying. So with this step over here, I'm just gonna very quickly dip and up the corners over here. So I'm just like pressing it and make everything more deep and intense. And you can really see that kind of like start to define our eyes. So just a little bit at a time. Now what we're gonna do is actually cut the crease, so I'm gonna take my concealer. There is the same one that I'm gonna use later on for my under eyes, like for my normal concealing. So this one over here is the Conceal and Define by Revolution. It's a super size in the shade uh, 7. Yes, C7. So I'm gonna just like very quickly take this one down and I'm using exactly the same brush that I did earlier to put on my primer. I do like um, brushes this dense because they have a very, very good shape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start to press this one and just um, come across. When it comes to the end of my crease, I don't really care to be too precise or too neat because the thing is, I'm gonna go in with the previous brush, so you know this very small fluffy one, and I'm gonna go in with the darker eyeshadow and I'm just gonna start to like press it in and I find that like, the best way to do it is first pat it in and then kind of like blend it so they kind of like soften it up. I tend to do uh, my cut crease like one eye at a time especially because I have really hooded eye that if I open it too much to like concentrate my um, product on cutting this one, this one over here just transfer so I kind of like to do the setting on this eye before I do the other. So I first press, 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 and then blend, blend, blend. I'm actually gonna finish off this side before I move to the other one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my palette in collaboration with Revolution, the Kiss of Fire, and I'm gonna take the shade over here, it's called Flash Me. Now I did get a lot of people saying, Carmi, why don't you use um, one with a lid? I have a lid, um, I just really want to finish to use this one because I feel like it's going to be a waste of product if I'm going to stop using it just because I broke it, so yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to press this one everywhere where I have the rest of the crease, so just here, except at the center. So here in between them two, I want to leave a little bit of a space and I'll show you why because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other side of this brush and I'm going to go in with um, the blusher shade, so Devil, and uh, I'm going to just add a little bit and press it into the middle so to kind of like warm up the shadows like so. So this one is what it looks like. Cheers. So what I'm gonna do very quickly, I'm gonna knit it up. So adding just like a little bit more of flesh me. And this part over here is all kind of like about balancing it out and just like adding more and then getting a little bit more of the orange. It's completely up to you how much orange you want. I like a lot of orange. So I'm just gonna do this and of course, lastly, don't forget to go back with a dark purple and just like rework on the shade so that you don't actually really lose the transition. So I'm gonna do my um, other side very quickly off camera and then I'm gonna be back and we're gonna do liner. <sighs> All right, not gonna lie, BB, um, today has been um, a very surreal day, um, more than surreal, uh, it's just like stuff has been building up. Um, I know this is a very weird segment to follow the previous one, 
that if you guys follow me on my um, Instagram, you probably know that um, my neighbors are using very loud music um, every single day. And it's been stressing me out for the last, um, since we moved into the new place. That was January, it's now September. So uh, I literally just had the meltdown. Um, I had to like calm myself down for a minute because I was really not um, having it. Um, finally, uh, the people from the console place um, have turned out, but they actually witnessed some of it. Uh, not to the extent that um, it does on time go, so they will have to go back and come back again. Um, but yeah, that completely kind of like broke down my um, my eye look. So this is what we have so far. I know this is not, uh, I was just checking for my light at the back was on. I know this is not um, what you guys have signed up for. Um, just understand if maybe like I'm a bit off at the end of this video. It's not because of you or anything, it's just I'm completely human and I had just a meltdown. So uh, we finished at the top of our eyes, so this one is what they look. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeliner, I should have done my eyeliner off camera, but I didn't. And that is when my palette, like my broke side of the palette comes in super handy because it's easy to hold. And I'm gonna use this Revolution liner. Now, I actually really, really like this liner over here because if you, like me, suffer from um, really watery eyes, especially like in your inner corner, you find that sometimes liquid eyeliner tend to end up like on the bottom of your eyes and just make like a huge mess. This one over here, it dries so fast and I know it doesn't claim to be waterproof but I definitely believe it's very water resistant because since I used this one on my inner corner I never had that problem so definitely give it a try um, if you find that like your eyeliner sometimes can be a bit of a mess so I'm gonna do this side really quickly you guys know I love a big wing and I'm just gonna fill it in on the side over here. Oh, that's gonna look so, so pretty. So I'm gonna do very fast uh, boat wings and I'm also gonna put um, lashes on only because it's not really much fun seeing me putting lashes. <laughs> you will see a lot of struggle and today, I had just enough of it. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Pinky Goat in the style. Rowan is actually the one that I was using on the day. I really like because they're like big, fluffy, and they flare out. So I'm gonna do my liner real quick, and then we're gonna move on with testing out more brushes, especially the face one. All right, babies, I am back. I'm back in full force. It's me again, Carmi MUA. Um, all the negativity, I push it out, um, and now I am ready to carry on this makeup. Also, this is like so many cup of coffee later than I should send them my bills. <laughs> so I already put on my uh, primer and I've been using this one a lot. There is nothing left. There is the Hydration Boost by Revolution. I really like this, especially for dry skin. Oh, my skin feels so nice and it's not tacky like it's not really like like a primer that makes it last longer but because it's really smooth in my skin and it makes it feel like so soft i personally think that's the trick for me so now we're going to move in with foundation and concealer and of course i'm going to use this one over here there is what i use on the day so i'm just going to do a little bit here and i know i do use a lot of it um i just like full coverage, what can I say? What can I tell you? So this is the foundations. Uh, la 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 la, la 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 la, a little bit here. Also I cut myself today with my razor. Um, fun story, I think I said it like on one of my latest video. Um, I need to buy a new one. <laughs> if you didn't get it, um, I probably forgot it. So you might guys wanted to, uh, why am I putting so much foundation? Okay, I think I went way overboard. As I was chatting, I forgot that. This foundation does the job, and also I'm gonna put a little bit of the concealer. Uh, foundation, I am uh, on the shade 10.5, and concealer, I'm kind of like, actually, there's still left. I can always double up between seven and six. At the moment, I'm really loving um, seven, because it's a little bit more um, neutral for me, so it's not as strong. And I've been just like loving to just like add it with the foundation. 
and uh, I'm gonna go in with this one. So this one is a little kabuki brush. Uh, and I'm just gonna start first with the foundation side and then I'm gonna go and do the concealer side. So far, it's blending beautiful and it does give me a very good coverage. The only things I will say, and that is personal preference, I do wish was a little bit bigger because I feel like I'm, I'm taking a little bit longer than usual but that is just like personal preference on size because size sometimes does matter. So <laughs> let me blend this one out real quick and I'll be back. With whatever I have left, I'm literally blending down my neck, my little ears, and just on the side of my tattoo. I know that's a little bit extra, but when I have a shoulder out, I like it to, to match. Now I will say, because I do get a lot of questions from you guys, yes, my chest tattoo will carry on down my back as well. I'm just waiting for um, the appointment. So yes, we will get there eventually. So I'm gonna use this brush over here that I kind of reminds me of um, a shallow Tilbury brush as well like a MAC one, like the small pointed one. It feels so luxurious and so good. Like the bristle are beautiful. And yes, let's, let's give it a try. Um, I don't know what happened down there. Um, so I'm opening it and using my nip and fab, taking my little bit of product dust off the excess and just oh I think my under eye just creased so very quickly blend it one more time and just like press it on oh yes yes I like this brush over here because the way it's kind of like fluffing it up it just doesn't add too much product also I feel like you can even use it as a blush brush this might be a very good multi-purpose one if you don't set your under eye the way I do it. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of the center of my forehead, my nose, my mustache also, because for some reason, it's what I sweat the most on my face is my lip area, um, AKA my mustache, and a little bit my chin. And then I always do my neck only because I don't want to like transfer on my um, clothes or anything. So this one is that, and I love this powder, and I love how it just blurs absolutely everything. I don't know if you guys can see. Ah, love it so much. So we're now gonna move in with my faves. There is the Pro Contour Powder by um, Milani. Is that Milani? No, it's LA Girl. So sorry. And it's this one over here. I promise you, I use it all the time, and I always forget the name, so, Okay, that is a little bit too much. Okay, still too much. Let's go in. Okay, yes. So this one is very similar to the brush that I use for Revolution all the time. There is an angle one. The only thing I would say, this one feels a little bit more um, like fluffy, like it's a bit more flimsy, if I can say the word flimsy. Like it's not a bad way to say it, it's just probably it's gonna take me a little bit used to it. I'll show you what I normally use. That's the one that is from Revolution. And side to side, um, this one just look a little bit bigger, but can you see how the bristle are more, like, they kind of like a bit more stiff, when this one here is more like, woo, scooby scooby, like it's more like fluffy. Cause this one kind of like always like hugs my cheeks and it stays that way. See, when this one over here, I'll show you on the other side, it kind of moves a little bit too much. So I guess it's like, it's getting like used to this brush. It's not bad, please don't get me wrong. It's not a bad brush. Um, it's just different from what I normally use. And I feel like it takes a lot of time to kind of like blend. So let me just do my contouring real quick. Okay, so the brush has done its job and to be honest with you, it does look really good, like it's blended and everything. It just takes a little bit getting used to it, but there is no problem with that. Um, I'm gonna now go in with my Jelly Jungle Maxi Bronzer from Kiko. Um, I still really hope this one is still available. If it's not, I will um, 
find out and probably stopped using it um, on camera only because I always wanted you guys to find all the products and I like this one because it kind of like just warms it up it's kind of like my way to do um, like blusher like you guys know I don't do blusher but I like a little bit of extra bronzing on my cheeks and the smell of Kiko bronzer is probably like the best makeup smell I've ever smelled in my life. Like this just smell, it smells like Italy, it smells like my mom, it smells like my nan, it smells like my family. Oh my God, I can see them pissed at me because I never called them. So let me do this one real quick. And here is the bronzing moment. Now, before we try out um, the fan brush for the eye lighting, I wanna finish off my eyes. Now, the only two brushes that I haven't used are these two over here. One of them is a little angle one, and one is like a pointed eyeliner one. Um, to be honest with you, for the step I'm actually going about to do, I won't really need them, but I'm still gonna use them. So what I'll do is actually, I need this one first. This is like Dip Damson again, so the darker purple. I'm using the first dark color to kind of like just blur this one down. So just like add a little, little bit, like so. And then I do the small angle brush. Normally we use another kind of brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Dominion and just like add this one over here. It is working beautifully. Oh, gorge, gorge, gorge. I love this. I love how the medium can really like double up on so many things. Uh, and it just like so reflected and beautiful. Um, and back one more time with the previous brush and just like blend all the edges. So this one is pretty much the completed eye look. Uh, what I'm gonna do very quickly, I'm gonna do the other side, put on the mascara, and for mascara, I'm gonna use my favorite mascara by Gosh, as well as I'm gonna sort out my um, eyebrows, and then of course, eyeliner time and lippy time. Babies, I'm sorry, but I forgot to mention that I was going to put a uh, black pencil in my waterline and I use Squid by MAC. I feel like today the quality of my content is um, questionable. I'm so sorry, you did really not sign up for this. <laughs> so um, I want to use this one over here, like the, the fan brushes. I know I was telling you that I wanted to use just one full brush set, but can you excuse me? I want to I want to use this one. Um, this is the highlighting and finishing set. As I mentioned earlier, there are three inside. Let's get rid of that. So let me see the difference. One, two, and three. Thank you, sir. And we have, oh, this is big. Okay, so this is what they look side to side. So this one is like skinny and cute and it does feel very like like um like i keep saying flimsy it's not the word that i want to say but like um it feels like it's going to be like very quick to like blend that's what i mean it's like it's not dense what's the opposite of dense sparse no that's not a word okay please let me know down below and i'll learn the macaroni um, this is like medium size and I'll be honest with you I've seen people using this one for contouring I think Sophie actually uses one of the fan brushes to do contouring that I've never done before I will try out and then this one is absolutely huge and that is for your body and um, we're gonna use that right now so um, for the highlighter I did actually use um, opulence mainly and then I went in with just a little bit of um, flash me so I'm gonna do opulence first <gasps> Ooh, okay that is that's the things like I'm so happy because like what I feel like revolution was really missing out was a fan brush because what I like about fan brushes is that they add a very very soft uh, lighting it's like when you want a big big old like heavy eye light um, I tend to use them um, let me show you if I can find it if I could find this brush um, this is my uh, blank canvas cosmetic f15 this one just like zoom give you like the best highlighter if you like very intense blending one but if you like more soft one firm brushes they just like blend as they go and I really really like 
this for like more of like an everyday kind of things. Why am I moving my shoulder like something was going to happen? <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the other side very quickly. Yes, love, 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 love. Uh, oh my God, I remember I did one video and I'll keep saying love. Love, 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 love. <laughs> okay, so this one is the highlighter down and I'm gonna add just a little bit of Flash Me. Yes, yes. Okay, so both sides. Then I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose, mix them, them two together. I'm gonna powder down my um, mustaches because uh, with the heat and this jumper, I'm sweating a little bit. So this one is what it looks like. Ooh, yum. Okay, let me do the big one here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of opulence and then a little bit of flesh me. Can we see this? Can you? Ooh. I hope in camera it shows. I really like opulence on my body only because it's like gold and my skin is like olive yellow and it kind of gives like that very nice um, natural sheen to it. Oh yes, can you see this? Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like I'm going to the toilet, so okay. I'm gonna stop this right now. Now, let me do a gloss. So, um, the one thing I tend to use a lot when I don't do, uh, like, when I do more heavy eyes like this, is go in with lip gloss. Bear all is my gem. So, let me just put on my gloss. All right, so here we have the final look. This is what you guys wanted me to um, recreate and I wanna say thank you so much for making this happen one more time. Let's just um, get the hair out because I feel like the hair are really gonna like seal the deal. Oh, okay, so here we have the hair out. Ooh, can, can I fix them? Alright baby, so, so this is our final look and I do have to say everything turned up just the way I wanted to. If not better because I'm really loving my highlighter today. I think like this fan brush is something that I was not using for a while and I'm really liking how it's subtle but at the same time it does show the shine. Mm, loving it. Now I will say uh, my standout brushes from this brush set are definitely the three eye brushes like the two fluffy one and the one for like the eyelid like the press one as well as this one that I use for underneath my eyes to use like my powder and everything. I think just this brush, this full brush here alone are worth the price tag. Um, also I did actually like as well um, this other four here. Um, it's just like, I wish this one was a little bit bigger because that's what I'm used to it, but the foundation looks amazing. It has worked beautifully. So there is really no complaint. It's just what well, you kind of get used to it. And this one is the same. It did at the end like work beautifully. It's kind of like getting used to a brush that is a little bit more um, like it's a bit more like it's a bit more movie. It just shakes it with you a little bit instead of being too firm. So yes, and them two, they did work absolutely amazing. So I have to say guys, so far I'm giving it this Revolution brushes a huge thumbs up. I loved everything I tried. If there is anything I didn't, you guys know, I would have definitely tell you so. And if you want me to test out any others in any upcoming videos, maybe kind of like just drop it in here and then, please let me know down in the comment. As well as if you can, give me a good thumbs up. But stay subscribed and uh, let me know if you like my makeup today. Also very quickly, uh, before I mess up my hair even more, guys, thank you so much for the love that you have given me with this BB pin, the spooky pin is literally almost sold out and it's not even been a week. In the first two days, almost 70% of the stock was completely gone. As you guys know, it's limited edition, so I will not be restocking it. Um, that's just the way I wanted to kind of like give it to you and do it as well. I did not want to do like, um, it's a limited edition that see that it was selling and just come up with more stock and do like another drop on everything. No, that's the way I don't like it. If I was selling you uh, that was a limited edition and it was a one time only, that's just the way it is. So hopefully uh, if you really, really want it, you can still get it and grab it. 
but once it's gone, it is gone for forever. So, yes guys, thank you so much for the love, I love you so much. And if you can, share this video, help me reach the BB family that we love and deserve, because we are the best family out of the internet, and uh, always remember, like if you like, hate if you hate, and until next time, you're welcome.